What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, I was just doing some quick maintenance on my uh, power module, aka transmission slash transfer case, on my Senton 3S, and I figured I would show a little trick, uh, I guess it's a trick, that uh, has been working for me ever since the first time I opened up this gearbox, and happened to realize that there was, put this back together real quick just to show you, although I'm sure owners know, show that there was a, oh, a wide open hole in the bottom of the transmission. Now I know that usually um, when the, uh, when this power module is sitting in the transmission, or the chassis itself, it kind of slides and locks in like this. So it's sitting like this, and that bottom section is pretty much covered. However, the very edge sometimes can allow debris to get in there. And one of the first times I had opened it up, there was pretty much a, a powdered dust from all the dirt and everything that had been ground up over the course of the first four or five batteries that I put through it. Um, so I was wondering if anybody out there had a fix that they found for it so far as far as maybe either putting a thin line of silicone or caulk around the outside edge just as it sits in the chassis itself, like right on that edge there, and then just peel that back off every time. Or what I've actually been doing is um, taking a little bit of marine grease. This happens to be uh, dynamite here. Um... Just taking a slight little bit on the end of a screwdriver and just putting a slight coat. Pretty much, I mean, I, maybe it's the OCD in me that just won't allow me to run dry gears in a gearbox or something. But what I found out it ended up working out in the long run with it was each time I did that, after the first pack or so, it would actually coat that inner outer edge from the centrifugal force of the gear spinning, it would spit the grease out onto that outer edge, and the dirt would actually collect onto that and not really collect on the gearing, either the spur or the pinion, pretty much because at that point it had all been spun off. But it was kind of interesting because I was like, well, we got to kind of try and figure out something because I definitely don't like the idea of dry gears and I don't like the idea of an open gearbox. So one of the first times I did that and then opened it up afterwards, saw that it was actually decent, uh, decently clean, not a lot of grime and whatnot, that, uh, that it was a trick that I would at least keep for a while until I either figured out a way to seal off that uh, the bottom edge, you know, that outer edge of the gearbox, which would be right here, right along that bottom edge. Or if maybe an aftermarket company stepped up and designed a closed gearbox like an off-road gearbox should be. Or, I don't know. But yeah, I was just curious if any of you guys actually had a uh, solution to it. Or if it just really is a non-issue for you guys, wherever you guys happen to be running. Uh... I'm in the northeast United States, so we kind of have a mix of everything around here. I have not uh, taken it through heavy mud and water, um, just because I haven't really gone and actively seeked that seeked it out, and it's not really not really the type of terrain that there is at the one park. Um, so, uh, okay, so. Quick trick as well, obviously, long output shaft goes towards the front of the vehicle, which is the motor faces the front of the vehicle. So put it on there, and you can kind of get those gears spinning like that, see how it kind of dissipates and whatnot a little. Once the power of the 3S goes through there, it sends it all through, and it definitely, definitely coats the inner part of that gearbox. All right, so that's all together. Let's give these a little run. Finish those up by hand. All 
All right, and that's pretty much it as far as uh, power module for the Arma Sentin. Nice and smooth. Actually, putting that slight little bit of grease in there actually kind of kind of quiets down the uh, quiets it down a little bit as well. You know, they got get that dry dry gear sound. But uh, yeah, so that's my trick for the power transmission, power module, transfer case, etc. But uh, yeah, if anybody's got any other hints or whatnot on sealing off that bottom part, post in the comments or whatnot. Shoot me a message. Be interested to hear what they are. So until next time, uh, we will catch you guys later. Have a good one. See ya.